Hi everybody, welcome to The Game Plan. I'm Lindsay. I'm Rico. And today we're going to be doing an unboxing of Netatonka. Yeah, this is exciting. So, um, what I try and do to help manage my Kickstarter splurging. Yeah, let's call it that. Kickstarter addiction? splurging. No, no. <laughs> it's only an addiction if you admit it. Oh, okay. okay. Or is that? No, that's not I, right. I think it's a little off there. We're going to talk about this game. Shut up. So, um... One thing I try and do is, is uh, I, I mark things as saved um, in, in Kickstarter and then it will just notify you, I think, within two days of it <clears> ending <throat> so that you can kind of make a final decision. And what I do is I, I'll mark the ones that I'm particularly interested in as saved. And then when they uh, come up as a reminder, I go and look to see at all the saved ones I have. And what I do is I look and say, okay, of the ones that are saved, do I want this one the most and then I'll kind of keep that one and unsave the other ones and try and let them go right and this is one that kind of got let go and as soon as I let it go I do remember thinking ah oh, man that's going to be one I think I'll like or want it's kind of a regret ever since yeah um, so the other day I get a message from a buddy of mine who says hey any chance you'd be interested in playing this and if you guys have watched our um, or I guess it's my video of the what I missed in 2019, and this one was on the sweet spot. I think this is a sweet spot type type of game. There's enough there to keep gamers interested, but it's light enough that I can introduce it to casual, or more casual gamers or new gamers. And um, this buddy of mine said, hey, I had this fulfillment happen. There was a problem with the post office. They lost his package. The, I think he said like the director of the post office operation sent him an email, yeah. and like it was a big thing. <laughs> And so he, he reached out to um, the publisher and kind of let him know what happened. They sent him another copy. In the meantime, I guess the, the post, post office, office found the box and said, hey, here's the box. And so my friend reaches out to the uh, publisher and said, hey, what do you want me to do? And they said, keep it. Keep it and give it away. Give it, it to a friend. Yeah. And so Merry Christmas us. <laughs> um, I'm super excited about this. This, again, is one of that was... was I, I felt that instant regret of like, oh, I feel like I should have backed this one. Um, and it being on my wish I would have tried games of 2019 and just like all comes together. Of like, just all the stars <sighs> aligned and now we have it in our house. Finally something good yeah. is happening. Yay. So, so uh, let's dig in. Yeah, let's do okay. it. Okay. I'm going to let you do this part because I don't want to scratch the box. <laughs> If the box gets scratched, at least it would be your fault and not mine. I don't care about what the box looks like much. I know. I shouldn't say that since... Thank you, Doug. We, yeah. we love you. We'll never <laughs> scratch the box. We're so excited to have it. We'll treasure it always. So I don't know anything about this game. It looks to be um, up in the mountains somewhere with a native tribe. I have no clue what this game is about. As, as Doug was describing it to me, there, it sounds like there's some interesting mechanisms going on here. Worker placement, but there's some um, twists along the way. Wow, this there's is a... the English version. Okay, so we've got three different languages. Yep. We've got Kickstarter exclusive content information, so that's good. So in multiple languages. Okay. That's always nice because it's, it's a real pain when you get a box new that says oh we've got you know 15 cards and then you actually have 17 cards and you're like why do i have 17 yeah. and it turns out there's some kickstarter somethings that you didn't know about and it's going to be even worse on this because i did not remember i didn't back this yeah. so i don't know exactly but these look fun stickers Little that'll stickers. be fun oh the art is okay. awesome yeah i'm digging that look at that guy these look like player boards, player colors, blue, green, yellow, and orangey. Hmm. That looks... I mean, it's got to be like a worker placement type of spot, right? Yeah. Like two workers can go there, one worker yeah. can go here. Well, oh, and a purple. It's, it's checking all the boxes so far. Purple player color. Purple player. Win. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Oh. Big old chunky oh, wow. board. Double-sided, okay. Cool. Okay, what do we got going on for the double-sided board here? So This one looks like spring and the other one looks like winter. 
Why do you gotta be so <laughs> flippant about it? I think this looks like happiness, <laughs> and the other side looks like joy. <laughs> Negative. I didn't say it negative was negative. Oh. I just said <gasps> oh. there's snow on oh. one side. This is this is lovely. Yes, it is. And it, it looks like, I mean, I, the iconography looks very intuitive. Like, I put this here, and I get to put something to eat. Um, I get mushrooms. I get wood. I mean, it seems really straightforward, so I that's I get cool. a buffalo. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get to swim with a buffalo. Oh, okay, okay. With a blue hand. Oh, nice. that's creepy. Yep. The swimming hand. <laughs> He's the one that touches you while you're in the water. Oh. He touches you just right. Okay, let's keep going. Very lovely artwork. I like it. Some punch out stuff. I was like. Not real sure. This is kind of. Oh! Looks like you punch it out and then it is an overlay. Yeah. Cause so the, yeah, this is really cool. So, let's punch out a few of these so you can kind of see what we're talking about. So, yeah. You get to punch it out, and then it becomes an overlay of your board. So that's kind of interesting. I'm, no, <laughs> I'm very curious to find out what their intent is here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looks like what you're punching out is underneath, but these are just yeah. really cool ways like of holding this, your stuff. This is like a, uh, a different approach at a dual later board. Yes. It's, it's kind of what it appears to be here, but I, I guess I don't know for sure. I mean, there might be a mechanic around... You know, you do this to start, and then, oh, it's that part of the game. Now flip everything over, but it, it doesn't seem, I mean, I mean, I don't know why you would do that, but it's kind of an interesting approach. I've never That's seen really that. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Seems like a, an easy way to, to get that kind of a solution, too. So. Yep. Hmm, cool. There's a few more of those. I think those are all the player colors. Yeah, absolutely. The yellow, the, green, red. The blue and the purple are similar, but... Yeah, that is... Know. Even for someone who's not colorblind, those are off. Those are really close. <laughs> uh, I hope we're not supposed to keep anything in boxes. It's not uh, a campaign, so. I don't think it's a campaign. Hey, this is cool. It comes with an uh, oh, organizer. A little tray for your stew. Yeah, all the stuff. Mushrooms, wood, steaks, and pelts, looks like. Uh-oh. There's nothing in there. Oh, no. Well, now I'm like, wait a minute, am I, am I not supposed to be open? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm still going. This has stuff. Cards. Okay, so cards and stuff in there. I'm trying to look like a... Don't open this. Yeah. Too late. This looks like player color stuff. Yeah. And huh. Little, I wonder if those are going to be like tents. I don't know. Oh, those are cool. Totally guessing. Oh, look at these. Yeah, they're tents. Little warriors. Yeah, frame those up. We'll get we'll get a good look at these things. Those are cool. These are cool too. Put the total, so these are the nomad chiefs. They've got fronts and backs. Get these on a little tray. <laughs> I like their backs because they're actually like the back of a person. Yeah. Here. So this is the back of him. Those are great. I wonder if that was Kickstarter. Yeah, I think so. Let's see if we can tip it so that you can get it. Yep. Yep. There you go. So hopefully you can see what's going on here. These are like totems, and then dudes in boats, and a feather. I don't know if the feather is like a first player marker. <laughs> that is kind of cool. There's no mistaking that feather. The colors are different enough in these that the blue and purple aren't really going to be a problem. Yeah. So buffaloes, totem, looks like totems. A dude in a boat. A dude in a boat. And a feather. And a feather. All right. Well, we're going to do an organizing now. This doesn't look like there's a whole lot here, so the organizing should be pretty quick, I hope. Hopefully. Um, so prepare for uh, speed up fast times mm -hmm. shortly, and uh, we'll, we'll be right back. All right, so we've got 
the uh, got it organized here, so we're gonna all neat and tidy. Try and represent this as best we can. So, based off of reading the rules for setup and a very high level understanding of the modular expansions and etc. Here's my attempt, or here's our attempt at an organization. So, um, it, they have some boxes in here, which is kind of cool. It seems kind of strange. Uh, I don't think they're really necessary for, like, storing the game. Like, there's enough real estate within the box that they could fit easily. But this makes it nice and... Uh, Compact? Snug? Like, I don't know. Okay, so... There was one box that was kind of strangely shaped for what it wanted us to do with it. Yeah, um, so as you can see, it like fits very nice in here. The box, you know, the, the board will will fold out and put there. And then these, so it's not like what I mean is like it. So like this is nice and flat with these boxes, so that you've got these little boards on top of this box, and so everything is kind of very well engineered to fit. But I don't know that that's entirely necessary. So like this large box is meant to hold all of the little pieces, which is fine and. This is how we decided to, you know, just store them in here so you can just pull it out and then we just put little labels on both sides so that no matter where you are on the table you can see what they are. Which is fine, but, you know, you put these into a little individual bags yeah. with labels and it's going to take up far less inside the box than this would. Um, so, I mean, if, you, if that's the type of thing that bothers you, like, oh, this isn't very efficient packing, you might get a little upset. But other than that, I mean, it, it kind of it kind of works. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, it's and kind it of all a, looks really nice. Yeah, like the the, the design is, is very cool. So all of the canoe tiles fit in here, which makes sense. And you know, they they don't fit like perfectly snug, but they fit well enough so that they fit well enough so that they fit. You know, it's like okay, <laughs> yeah. okay, I guess it works. So the one that we were referring to is a little odd. Is this one here? It's for all the cards. Yeah, I probably the shouldn't have done that. Three right. different kinds of cards. Yeah, so they have these three different types. This is the Net no, that's right. This is the Netatonka card. This is the handicraft card, and this is the objection the objective, objective. cards. Um, which to me it's saying, Oh yeah, store those cards in here. Well, first of all, let's I guess I can pull those out. The number of cards is pretty small and would never fill that entire box. So I'm not entirely sure what their intent was on that. Um, so let me show you the cards themselves. So this, this is how many cards there are. Um, seems like way too much of a box for... And they don't quite fit sideways. Yeah. You have to just lay them flat in there so they would just be all on yeah. top of each other. There's no separators. So yeah, they, they wouldn't fit quite right. Like if you hold them upright, they're too tall. So if you can see, they'd be too tall. They obviously aren't going to fit this way. They could, you know, they could fit all flat this way, but then they're all stacked on top of each other. It just seemed odd yeah so what we did was we just stored all of like so these are the pieces that have been upgraded from kickstarter stuff so they're technically useless but if somebody wanted them and then solo stuff which we don't play solo games so we just store it in here um, so it's just kind of a miscellaneous box yeah out of the way we'll never be opening that guy again but it really, works but for that purpose yeah so cool <laughs> um and then i kind of jumped the gun on the last one here it seemed like they're saying, you know, put like the player stuff in here because um, and miscellaneous tokens and stuff in here. But basically everything would fit in here. So um, if you just you don't even have to pack that efficiently, you just kind of put them in, make sure whatever you're doing will fit and it'll just kind of work. See, I'm just throwing it in here half assed and I could basically yeah, that would work right there. Yeah. So the one issue we did have was with the purple player. We have one little piece that needed to be glued. We had glued. this guy, yeah. So there was a little bit of tear. You probably can't even see now. So we just get, we have little wood glue that we use to, uh, let's see if I can. You don't have to use much at all, just a tiny little bit. Yeah, so you, I don't even know, you can really even tell by looking at it. Um, sometimes when they tear. So that's the only one, but I think it's dried now, so we're probably good to pack it back up. Okay. And that's it. Uh, looks like it'd be pretty straightforward. You just throw the little player color bags out to everybody, um, all the little pieces in there are kind of standard for starting and then there are uh, depending on your player position in the rotation you get uh, extra things to start kind of as a compensation for not being you know first player first choice um, 
that's it. Seems like it'll be a pretty quick setup. Yeah, and it's gonna, I think it's going to be a really cool game. I like all the components. Of course, I know nothing about gameplay, but I'm a sucker for cool components, and this one definitely has me interested. Yeah, very pretty. And we found out, uh, or I found out during the reading the rules a little bit, that the, the double side of the player board, so one side is the winter side here, and then the other side is the spring, summer side, or whatever. Um, this is supposed to be the let's just say they just they de de described the winter side for advanced players so whatever that what take that as to mean what you mean what you want i interpret that as let's play the first game uh or when you're introducing players introduce them on the summer side and then when you want kind of the full scope of game and stuff go to the winter side so i would imagine one play here and then probably the rest here yeah. i would imagine that even at an inner like introducing people to the game if they're relatively relatively into the hobby mm -hmm. i would imagine you, you could, could probably teach probably it with, with this one as long as you yeah. know it right so i'm kind of i'm expecting or anticipating that to happen but obviously if that's not the case that's fine but it's really cool that they have that um man just fits all nice and nice snug and in there snug. it is it is rather satisfying to watch everything just kind of fit you yeah know? the only Nice, nice. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 oh well. Yeah, just close it. Beautiful. Thanks again, Doug. Yes, Doug. Thank you. We'll be playing that soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any comments, questions, anything like that, leave them below. See you guys next time.